Hey everyone, Kachi Investor back to our earnings video for today. So we're starting the day with Shopify's earnings. Great report, great quarter by that company. We're also going to go over Palantir in the next video. We still have a lot of companies to cover, so bear with me, but I will for sure cover all of them. So Shopify, currently at the time I'm making this video, pre-market, the stock is up 17, 18% or so. Great, great quarter, of course. Already gotten a couple of hints from Amazon that probably e-commerce is doing a bit better than what most were fearing. And also when it comes to profitability, of course, with Shopify, I mean, last quarter they guided for free cash flow for Q3. That is greater than all of the first half of 2023. And yeah, they delivered. So let's start with a couple of comments here from Harley, the president, and from Jeff, the CFO. Our third quarter results demonstrate the progress we are making to further solidify Shopify's position as the global leader in commerce. Our ability to help our merchants succeed in any economic environment by delivering innovative product solutions has not only built strong trust with our merchants, but has positioned Shopify for sustained growth and profitability for the future. As we look forward to the busiest shopping season of the year, we are confident that our unified commerce platform empowers our merchants with the tools they need to seize every opportunity and achieve greater success. As for the CFO, we are extremely pleased with our financial performance this quarter, which is a testament to the resilience and adaptability of our platform and merchants. We will continue to operate with discipline, thoughtfully investing in the huge opportunities ahead across regions, products and channels to help merchants capture every opportunity every step of the way. Now, some of you might say, oh, if this is just a great company, it was a great quarter, why has the stock dropped so much? We're gonna have a look at the graph a bit later on. But just like with Adian, just like with the trade desk, for example, the valuation was just extremely stretched. And so if there is weakness in the business, if there's weakness in the macro environment, yes, these types of companies do tend to fall extremely hard. Now, again, Shopify did have a quarter or two where they went into logistics and then they figured out that, well, it's not really worth it for them. It's going to cost them way too much money. And so they sold that business. Great move, quick thinking. I like to see that. So that's basically my reason behind the stock dropping despite it being a great company. But now you see this year, the stock is up already quite a lot because the market starts to realize, well, actually this company can become extremely profitable. Despite the high valuation, maybe the premium here is worth it. Maybe not such a high premium as before, but the premium is worth it. So let's have a look at the couple of announcements and the numbers. If you enjoy this type of videos, leave it a thumbs up, subscribe. If you have not, would really appreciate that. If you want to support me even further, do check out the link down in the description and in the pinned comment to get the top 10 best stocks to buy now or go to full.com for slash couch investor. Thank you very much. Okay, so first up, I'm going to go over a couple of announcements here. So they launched the retail plan, a new pricing plan for brick and mortar businesses selling primarily in person. That includes all Shopify point of sales pro features, as well as tools to build a simple online presence. So here again, Shopify not only growing in the online world, the digital world, but also in the physical one, because believe it or not, in person is still extremely popular. Then they finalized commercial agreement with Flexport to extend the partnership between Shopify and Flexport. They obviously announced an app integration that allows US merchants using Amazon Fulfillment Network, the option to add the Buy with Prime app. We've talked about that before. I think it's a win-win for both companies. They partnered with FAIR. This was the most recent announcement to continue to build out our business to business commerce offerings for our merchants, as well as create additional on-ramps onto Shopify as FAIR preferred point of sale provider for their independent retail community. And so if we look at the numbers here, so GMV increased 22% to $56.2 billion. That's an increase of $10 billion year over year. Total revenue increased 25% to $1.7 billion which translates into a year-over-year -year growth of 30%, adjusting for approximately 500 basis points impact from the sales of the logistics business. It's also flat quarter over quarter. Now, with regards to merchant solutions and subscription solutions, so merchants increased 24% to $1.2 billion. Last quarter was $1.3 billion, so a small decrease here quarter over quarter. As for subscription revenue, that increased 29%. To 486 million dollars now if you look at the cost of revenue for both of them you can see that what cost of revenue for the subscription solutions increased what seven 
to 8% year over year, yet the revenue grew closer to 28-29%. Same story for merchant solutions, cost of revenue increased year over year much less than revenue, and that's exactly what you want to see. Then with regards to GPV, gross payment volume, that grew to $32.8 billion, representing 58% of GMV processed in the quarter versus $25 billion or 54% in the same quarter last year. As for MRR, monthly recurring revenue that increased 32% to $141 million. Gross profit grew 36% to $901 million. Gross margin for the quarter was 52.6% compared to 48.5%. So again, here you can see the margin improvements. That's great for the bottom line. As we've talked about in the Sunday video, the expectations for the market for Shopify is that EPS, the bottom line, the profitability of the business will increase much faster than the top line, the sales, the revenue. Then operating income was $122 million or 7% of revenue. And that's comparing to an operating loss of $346 million or 25% of revenue in the same quarter last year. And here, free cash flow. $276 million, that's a 16% margin, compared to negative free cash flow of $148 million, negative free cash flow margin of 11%. Last quarter, I believe it was $96 million. So again, they told us Q3 will be more than the first half of 2023. They definitely delivered with that number. Then with regards to the outlook, so for the remainder of 2023, Full year revenue to grow at mid 20 percentage rate on a year over year basis, driven by fourth quarter revenue growth in the high teens year over year, which translates into a year over year growth rate in the low to mid 20s when excluding the 400 to 500 basis points impacted by that logistics business. As for the fourth quarter gross margin percentage to be 300 to 400 basis points higher than the same quarter last year of 46 percent, and Q4 gross margin will be down from Q3 2023, as has historically been the case, as payments revenue will be larger percentage of overall revenue due to the seasonality of the holiday selling season. As for operating expense dollar, that will be down by a low single digit percentage rate compared to Q3 2023. Stock-based compensation to be approximately $100 million. And then as for free cash flow, as a percentage of revenue to be in the high teens, Free cash flow margin and free cash flow dollars have both improved every quarter this year and Q4 will continue to deliver on this upward trend, a clear manifestation of the steps that we've taken this year to drive to greater profitability as we build for the long term. And this, this is my favorite part, free cash flow. I know a lot of people like to look at EPS, stuff like that. If you can choose, choose growth in free cash flow. So looking at the graph, of course, we already had a couple of days of green action here for Shopify. So yes, around that $46, $45 or so was again a sort of support line-ish. But now we're up 17%. So we're back over the 20, the 15, the 200 day moving average. So we're back to the area $55, which again was also an area where we got a little rebound back in August. Again, remains to be seen if it can stay above those moving averages. So overall, to conclude, pretty good quarter by Shopify. Again, showing that this is a quality business, good management, good execution, despite the macro environment, they keep on executing the right way. Yes, they had a couple of quarters where things didn't really go their way. They also overestimated the impact of the pandemic, just like every other company out there, but they recovered and then some. Of course, do share your thoughts down in the comments below. Are you buying more? Are you holding? What's your thoughts on this quarter? Let me know down in the comments. If you enjoy this type of videos, give it a thumbs up, subscribe if you have not, and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye-bye.